Chapter 9 This is the message from the Lord against the land of Aram and the city of Damascus, for the eyes of all humanity, including the people of Israel, are on the Lord. Doom is certain for Hamath, near Damascus, and for the cities of Tyre and Sidon too, though they are so clever. Tyre has built a strong fortress and has piled up so much silver and gold that it is as common as dust in the streets. But now the Lord will strip away Tyre's possessions and hurl its fortifications into the Mediterranean Sea. Tyre will be set on fire and burned to the ground. The city of Ashkelon will see Tyre fall and will be filled with fear. Gaza will shake with terror, and so will Ekron, for their hopes will be dashed. Gaza will be conquered and its king killed, and Ashkelon will be completely deserted. Foreigners will occupy the city of Ashdod. Thus I will destroy the pride of the Philistines. They will no longer eat meat with blood in it or feed on other forbidden foods. All the surviving Philistines will worship our God and be adopted as a new clan in Judah. And the Philistines of Ekron will join my people just as the Jebusites once did. I will guard my temple and protect it from invading armies. I am closely watching their movements. No foreign oppressor will ever again overrun my people's land. Rejoice greatly, O people of Zion. Shout in triumph, O people of Jerusalem. Look, your king is coming to you. He is righteous and victorious, yet he is humble, riding on a donkey, even on a donkey's coat. I will remove the battle chariots from Israel and the war horses from Jerusalem, and I will destroy all the weapons used in battle. Your king will bring peace to the nations. His realm will stretch from sea to sea and from the Euphrates River to the ends of the earth. Because of the covenant I made with you, sealed with blood, I will free your prisoners from death in a waterless dungeon. Come back to the place of safety, all you prisoners, for there is yet hope. I promise this very day that I will repay you two mercies for each of your woes. Judah is my bow, and Israel is my arrow. Jerusalem is my sword, and like a warrior, I will brandish it against the Greeks. The Lord will appear above his people. His arrows will fly like lightning. The Sovereign Lord will sound the trumpet. He will go out against his enemies like a whirlwind from the southern desert. The Lord Almighty will protect his people, and they will subdue their enemies with sling stones. They will shout in battle as though drunk with wine, shedding the blood of their enemies. They will be filled with blood like a bowl, drenched with blood like the corners of the altar. When that day arrives, the Lord their God will rescue his people, just as a shepherd rescues his sheep. They will sparkle in his land like jewels in a crown. How wonderful and beautiful they will be! The young men and women will thrive on the abundance of grain and new wine. 